Hi guys. So let's start this question here. Uh, again, it's a very good question. Just try this question yourself. Uh, this question was again asked in a an academy mock test. And this question says that in how many ways twenty seven hundred can be written as product of eight distinct integers. Okay. So. In how many ways twenty seven hundred can be written as product of eight distinct integers, right? Okay, so now let's say let's try to first factorize this twenty seven hundred into uh, like in into its factors, right? So what is twenty seven hundred actually? So twenty seven hundred is the three cube into two is square into five is square, correct? No. So basically, what I can write here three into three into three three times, then two into two two times, and then five into five. No, I cannot use this number because I need to write this as product of eight distinct integers, and I already have. If I count this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have got seven numbers here. Okay. Also, these these are not distinct. These are not distinct, right? So basically, I need a, if I need a three, then I cannot use a three again. Okay. So that means I cannot write twenty seven hundred as a product of eight distinct integers in only positive way. There's no way I can write in only positive uh, ways, okay? As a product of eight distinct integers, that means I need to take the help of negative numbers also, है ना? तो मेरे को negative numbers का help लेना पड़ेगा. If I if I uh, if I take the help of negative numbers here, देखो मैं यहाँ पे क्या सोचूँगा? So let's say I write this twenty seven hundred. So सकते हैं ऐसे करके, क्योंकि अंत में तो यही आना चाहिए. Last में it should it should get three 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 two two five five. So what I can do is I can take one, I can take two, so other I can take minus two. That's fine because I, if I take if I take minus sign even number of times, it won't have any importance, na? Because that will ultimately be converted to plus. So two and minus two. If I take a five, I need to take a minus five also here. Okay. So two times two is done. Two times five is done, and still the result, result is positive because minus sign is have has appeared only two times. So result is positive. Now three and minus three. So if I take one three, so then I take I need to take minus three. Okay. So again two times three also done. So now one times three is left, and we have got some one two three four five six. So right now there are six distinct integers, uh, six distinct positive integers, and still one three is left. Now I cannot break break three, right? So basically I need to I need two more for making it product of eight distinct integers. I need two more integers. So can I have a one and a three here? So I cannot have a one and a three because now three and three will get repeated. Okay, same way I cannot have a minus one and minus three also because in that case minus three and minus three will get repeated. Repeated. Okay, so this is this cannot be written as a product of eight integer uh, distinct integers if I write like this. Okay, so if I write like this. Then I cannot write it as a product of eight distinct positive integers, okay? Because three and three is repeating, minus three and minus three is repeating. That means, and also I cannot play with this two minus two because I have only two twos available here, only two fives available here. So I have to write like this. That means three and minus three I cannot write write like this, okay? So now that basically means that the two numbers, if it cannot be a three or minus three. Then those two numbers has to be minus one and one, okay? So minus one and one will have to be those two numbers which I'm writing here. Ah, now if I write this, so again if I write this two and minus two, ठीक है जाना सब कुछ जाना ना बहुत ही अच्छा क्वेश्चन है ये five and minus five, three and minus three, okay? Now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight numbers already done. ओके एंड मेरे पास बेसिकली अभी भी एक थ्री बचा हुआ है ना बिकॉज आई ऑलरेडी यूज आई ओनली यूज टू टाइम्स थ्री इयर तो वन थ्री इज स्टिल लेफ्ट ओके तो देखो जो वन थ्री है ना दैट वन थ्री विच इज लेफ्ट इयर दैट बेसिकली आई कैन मल्टीप्लाई विद दिस नंबर ऑल्सो है ना आई कैन मल्टीप्लाई विद दिस नंबर ऑल्सो आई कैन मल्टीप्लाई विद दिस नंबर ऑल्सो आई कैन मल्टीप्लाई विद दिस नंबर ऑल्सो राइट और दिस नंबर ऑल्सो करेक्ट So basically one two three four this number also है ना and then this number also correct so I multiply with all these numbers so this three I can multiply in six ways right so if three I can multiply in six ways so my six should be my answer 
for this question. Correct. This is the answer. Okay. For example, if you want to see those values, क्या 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 value आ रहे हो? For example, my first set will be first set of eight distinct post uh, positive uh, sorry eight distinct integers. तो मैंने क्या बोला कि आपके इसमें दो नंबर क्या हमेशा माइनस वन और वन तो रहेंगे है ना अब इस थ्री को आपको मल्टीप्लाई करना है तो आप यहाँ पे रख सक रख सकते हो माइनस थ्री इंटू थ्री बिकम्स माइनस नाइन एंड देन राइट ऑल एज इट इज तो ये तुम्हारा एक थ्री हो गया देन माइनस फाइव देन फाइव देन माइनस टू एंड देन टू देखो इन इट इज वन वे इन विच आई कैन गेट प्रोडक्ट एज ट्वेंटी सेवन हंड्रेड बिकॉज इसमें आपका थ्री टाइम्स थ्री भी आ रहा है टू टाइम्स फाइव भी आ रहा है और टू टाइम्स टू भी आ रहा है जो आना चाहिए था थ्री टाइम्स थ्री टू टाइम्स टू एंड टू टाइम्स फाइव राइट ऑल्सो रिजल्ट इज पॉजिटिव बिकॉज माइनस साइन एज अपियर्ड वन टू थ्री एंड फोर तो माइनस साइन एज अपियर्ड फोर टाइम्स इट इज इवन नंबर ऑफ टाइम रिजल्ट इज पॉजिटिव आई कैन गेट माई सेकेंड सेट ऑल्सो इफ यू वॉन्ट मेरे को देखो निकालना नहीं है मेरा आंसर आ चुका है सिक्स सिक्स इज दंसर ओके आई गॉट माई आंसर निकालना नहीं है मेरे को जस्ट आई एम मेकिंग अंडरस्टैंड दिस नो ये टू और माइनस टू है ना आप बोलो कि ठीक है जो ये थ्री था इस थ्री को यहाँ मल्टीप्लाई कर सकते थे है ना तो क्या होता फिर टू माइनस टू फाइव देन माइनस फाइव ठीक है देन थ्री इंटू थ्री विल बिकम नाइन एंड देन माइनस थ्री ओके एंड देन वन एंड माइनस वन ये भी तरीका होता सिमिलरली आपका ये भी एक तरीका होता इफ आई वॉन्ट टू राइट थर्ड सेट ईयर तो आपका ये भी एक तरीका होता कि टू और माइनस टू था फाइव था लेट से इस थ्री को मैंने मल्टीप्लाई कर दिया माइनस फाइव से इट बिकम्स माइनस फिफ्टीन ओके तो बाकी वैल्यू सेम रह गई माइनस फिफ्टीन हो गया आपका देन थ्री माइनस थ्री एंड माइनस वन एंड वन सो अगेन आपको क्या हो गया यहाँ पे एट डिस्टिंक्ट इंटीजर्स वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट सो लाइक दिस आई कैन फॉर्म हाउनी सेट गाइज सो लाइक दिस आई कैन मल्टीप्लाई थ्री जो बचा हुआ है कैन मल्टीप्लाई मल्टीप्लाई विथ सिक्स डिफरेंट नंबर्स इयर वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सो आई कैन फॉर्म सिक्स डिफरेंट सेट्स सो सिक्स इज द आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन ओके बहुत बड़े क्वेश्चन है इफ इन द मॉक वेरी लेस पीपल करेक्ट सच काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन और कुछ है नहीं सोचना है ठीक है जस्ट नीड टू एक्सपोज योर सेल्फ टू सच वेराइटी ऑफ क्वेश्चन ओके लेट्स लुक एट वन मोर क्वेश्चन यू गाइस सो बेसिकली दिस इज अ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम अन अकेडमीज ए आई एम टी दैट इज ऑल इंडिया मॉक टेस्ट एंड दिस इज आई एम एक्टिवली लुकिंग एट द क्वेश्चन एंड पार्ट एंड इज पार्ट ऑफ दिस मॉक टेस्ट टीम एंड ब्रिंगिंग सम गुड हाई क्वालिटी क्वेश्चन फॉर यू so the next AIMT will be held at 28th of August so this is absolutely free mock for everyone so do give this AIMT I take regular analysis I uh, correct all the students where do you how do you attempt the paper how you should have attempted this paper what is the problem going uh, behind if you know not scoring good marks right so all that we are discussing in this session so do give this next AIMT on 28th of August okay so the look at this question this is a question uh, that was asked in last AIMT it says that What is the minimum value of a square plus x six a plus eight divided by a is square plus six a plus seventeen? Okay, its minimum value is p. Find the value of two forty eight p. So see the funda behind such question is whenever we say such kind of question in numerator and denominator. So what we do actually, uh, we kind of we think that this numerator should be free with. Uh, this variables okay on one side. For example, what I'll try to do is I'll try and make numerator and denominator same. Okay, that's my first step to solve such question. So once I try to make it same, I can write like a square plus a six a plus seventeen minus nine. I can write here and divided by a square plus six a plus seventeen. So I'll make numerator and denominator same. Now what will happen now? So if I if I divide this, this value will be ah uh, one minus nine by a square plus six a plus seventeen. And now if you see here. so i basically need to minimize this value so this whole value i need to minimize if this whole value i need to minimize that means it is one minus something so when you subtract something and this value you want to minimize on whole that means this part here so this part i should maximize right so this part i should maximize okay because the more i subtract from one the minimum it will get hai na so this this i should maximize so while i'm maximizing this part it is 9 upon a square plus 6a plus 
so there are multiple ways to maximize it it's a quadratic equation you can uh, for any quadratic equation there are multiple ways to maximize it how we can, what you can do here is you can just write like this for example the first way to maximize it so any quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c is minimum at x equal to minus b by 2a okay now why i am saying minimum because if i want to if you want to maximize this whole expression this a is square plus 6 a plus 17 is in denominator so when you want to maximize this whole ex expression so expression in denominator should be minimized okay this should be minimized right so now a is square plus bx plus c is minimum at x equal to minus b by 2 way huh. the method 2 is uh, directly we tell that for a x square plus b x plus c huh, its minimum value is equal to 4ac minus b square by 4a directly you get like get like this and then the method 3 is uh, making it into a, a square form so taking this into a square form will also take up this so i'll basically taking up this square form uh, that's uh, that's how we solve such questions okay so i'll be taking a square form to solve this question see so what i want to do here i want to maximize this value uh, sorry minimize this value so a is square plus 6 a plus 17 i want to minimize so what i'll be doing here is i just want to make it a in for form perfect square so basically it's uh, of the form a is square plus uh, 2ab plus b is square if you this is equal to a plus b whole square now if you compare with this what i'll be getting is now a is square is a is square 2ab is 6 that means I'll be getting B is equal to 3, right? So this A plus B ka whole square becomes A plus 3 whole square. Now what is A plus 3 whole square? A plus 3 whole square is actually A is square plus uh, 6A plus 9. So outside 17 is there. So I can, I can write a plus 8 here. Okay. So I can write a plus 8. Okay. So now basically what I'm trying to say is this whole expression will become 1 minus 9 by a plus 3 whole square plus 8 and this this will become okay so now i want to minimize this part so we are already saw that i need to minimize this part here so i need to minimize this part now this part will be minimum because this a plus 3 whole square is a perfect square so any square is always any square is always greater than equal to zero that means its minimum value is zero okay so this value this minimum value will be equal to zero and it is minimum at a equal to minus three so this can also be a question so it is minimum at a equal to minus three okay so I can, what i can do here is i can simply write here one minus uh, nine by eight that is equal to minus one by eight okay that means this is the value of p here no so that means this is the value of p so i need to find the value of 248p here so value of 248p will be equal to 248 into minus 1 by 8 this will get cancelled 31 times so my answer is minus 31 okay so that's the value of 248p and that's how you solve such questions so they can see that there are many such questions which I, you can replicate this concept of making numerator and denominator equal and then just solving this okay thank you we'll continue continue this questions in the next video and also guys october 30th ko aap ye mock test zarur dena theek hai uh, this is aimt and uh, seventh number aimt hai ye basically iske pehle iske sare aimt agar aapne nahi diye to you can give all those aimts that is all india mock test ye link mein available hai which i have pinned in description and uh, ye test 12 pm se hoga so do give this test also, uh, basically, five test ko mila kar, top thousand rankers ke liye cat reimbursement fees uh, actually sab ko reimbursement fees mil rahe. So for cat for number six, cat October thirty, number six, October thirteen, and uh, number thirteen and number twenty ko again two hundred people in each test will get their fees back. Okay, so two solon ko ye fees sab ko back mil jayega and uh, in each test already 200 log ko mil chuka hai in october 16th test so october 16th ka aimt bahut badhiya tha wo bhi aap dena aur agar aapne nahi diya hai to now you can give october 30th aimt and then these are the next three more aimts okay so total 10 mocks free the is bar 
एंड द मॉक्स आर ऑफ रियल हाई क्वालिटी बहुत बढ़िया मॉक थे सो आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू गिव दिस मॉक एटलीस्ट नहीं मॉक दे पाओगे तो कम से कम उन क्वेश्चन को यूज़ कर लेना एंड टेक इट एज जो मैंने आपको कहा है कि पर डे आपको 25 फाइव न्यू क्वेश्चन कौन में चाहिए 25 फाइव uh, या चार या पाँच न्यू एल आई सेट्स करने ठीक है तो अगर आपने नहीं किया तो इन मॉक्स को सारे पुराने मॉक्स को यूज़ कर सकते हो 10 मॉक्स थे एंड ऑल द मॉक्स आर इन दैट वंस यू इनरोल टू द टू द लिंक इन डिस्क्रिप्शन यू कैन गिव ऑल द प्रीवियस मॉक्स ओके थैंक यू